Hello gamers, welcome to the channel. Today I want to show you Dragon's Dogma 2 on the Steam Deck Steam OS at 60 FPS because if you know, this game does not run well natively, like even on PC. So to get this running this well on the Steam Deck, I want to share with you how I did it. Okay, so if you take a look, I only got this game yesterday. I downloaded it yesterday and I've got like 5.9 hours on it. It's not because I played this game. I haven't actually played it. I've done the character creation and then I'm at like at the beginning, like after the first title screen. Uh, I've just been logging on and off, testing out how to like get the mod working, okay? And a lot, a lot of people helped me along the way. So I want to give a big shout out to them first. So the first person I want to give a big shout out to is Grubby Viper. He's a viewer of the channel and he watched my video for Final Fantasy 16 for the same mod, DLSS Enabler. And then he shot me a message on in the comment section. Uh, he said, does this work for... Dragon's Dogma 2 and I'm like I don't know because I don't have this game to test and then he's like I, you know can I gift it to you and I, I thought he was joking I said you know thanks for the like being generous uh, here's my like Steam friend code if you really want to like do it you can you can gift it to me and yeah he, he didn't really take long and he just gifted the game to me and that's when the nightmare begins because like once he gifted me the game I kind of felt like I had an obligation to help him do it and I didn't even research like anything before because you know I wasn't planning to buy this game, so I have like had no idea if it works or not. Okay, so let's get into the game first. Okay. Yeah, so I'm like the type of person, so I don't like owing people something, like even if it's like a favor or anything. Like if someone does something for me, I feel like I have to do something back. And yeah, so all day yesterday I was like finding how to do it. And, and and like there's nothing <laughs> like i don't think anyone's done it uh, on the steam deck at least uh okay so okay so here's the game um the mod is not activated you can see i've got re framework but uh yeah the the mod when you like restart the game it doesn't kick in so i have to go to system options and then you go to graphics and you can see i've got dlss on all right but like because i restarted the game uh it doesn't kick in so you have to turn it off first so turn it off okay turn it off and then go back and turn it back on and then it kicks in you'll see so i'm going to turn it on to performance frame generation on okay Save. Okay. All right. So now you can see the frame rate popping up to 60 frames and everything. Yeah, it's working really, really well. And then I'm going to give a big shout out later too for the people that helped me do it. And like they are the people that developed this mod. So Arta. Arta is the like lead developer, the guy making this happen. Um, and yeah, I went on his Discord and asked for help because I, I couldn't get it working and then a bunch of people helped. So I'm going to give a big shout out to them right now. Let me get their names up. So Arta, like I said, and then Bayu Pratama, Rega, Nitek, and Jetfire. So like five, these five people were all like messaging all night last night and then it was really late i was like it was uh, i think i did it to like 3 or 4 a.m um and then i had to sleep i had to sleep i was really tired and then i woke up this morning and then we we, we did it all again this morning uh and yeah like we spent a lot of time uh we got it to work i i, I got it to work like following their guide and stuff they were, they were teaching me how to do it uh, but when i got it to work there was a big issue like frame generation definitely worked but there was no ui the ui just disappeared and that took us a lot of time to figure out how to get it back out again and that's what we all did so i'm going to show you guys how to do it uh it's going to be a long one so you know you got to follow step by step and I, i'm pretty sure if a, lot, a lot of people's got to have issues you, you got to like See, I'm just level two. I've spent like six hours playing this game. I'm actually not playing, just testing it out. And I'm just level two right now. So yeah, um, yeah. without further ado, let's go to my desktop mode and I'll show you how to install this mod. Before we go into the details, let me introduce you to the sponsor of today's video, instantgaming.com. 
If you're not familiar with them, you can check their website out using my link below in the description. They offer you the best prices for your games and they can do this because they buy their product keys directly from the game developers. So they cut out the middleman, you know, the traditional middleman takes 30% cut, right? So you don't have to buy from them. Make sure you get your games from instantgaming.com. And I'm now an official partner with instantgaming.com. So I do get a kickback for every sale. So if you want to support me and if you're buying games, make sure you save yourself some money, support me, click on the link below. Thank you, Instant Gaming, for sponsoring this video. Okay, so welcome back to my Steam Deck's desktop mode. The first thing you need to do is you need to locate your games folder. Okay, an easy way to do that is just open up your Steam, select your game, click on the gear icon, and then manage... All right, browse local files. Okay, so this is the game folder. It's in the common folder. Okay, this is where we're going to put our mod files. Okay, and now we're going to download a few files. First one you want to download is this RE framework. Okay, and um, yeah, just I'll link this in the description. Just go to releases. I'm using 1.5.7. That's the latest one as of recording. And then go to Assets, DD2, okay, Dragon's Dogma 2. Okay, click on this zip file, and it'll just download. And then you also need the DLSS Enabler mod, and we're going to be using the latest one, the latest beta one as of recording. And like, make sure, I'll link this in the description, but like, it's not sorted by like the date, okay? So we're going to go for 3.2, but we're going to for beta 9. And you have to scroll really, really down. Make sure you get the right version. Okay, it's not so... Okay, this is the one that released 14 hours ago. This was like when I was doing this mod. And he just randomly dropped a new... And we, we were using this one. Okay, so it's 3.02.000.0 beta 10. Okay, so at least use this version. If you're watching at a later date, maybe you can try out the newer ones. But this is the latest one as of recording. Okay, so I'm just going to download this. Go to Assets and get this EXE, okay? So I already have this. I'm not going to download it again. I will show you, okay? So you see, I've actually tested a lot of them out, okay? So I've got the uh, Beta 10, this one. This one's right here. And I created a folder to install it to. So this is the folder. Here's the folder, um, okay? So just create a folder. You can call it whatever you want. I just normally like to name it the same. I just like use this exe and then just copy this and just create a new folder okay once you've got this you can add this to non-steam game or if you have like um wine windows program loader you can just run it directly uh if you don't what you do is you just right click it add to steam the exe file and then go back to your steam library you should see it on the left hand side it's right here okay and then i'm just going to assign it to compatibility proton experimental and I'm just going to run it. It's just an installer file. Uh, we're going to extract all those uh, mod files. Okay, so let me show you how it's done. Okay, so this is the installer. Accept the agreement. Next, next. And then you need to browse. So that's why I created this folder, right? This folder, it's, it already has something in it. Maybe I just delete it all first. So I'm just going to delete it. So let's say this is a brand new folder that I created. Okay, go back to your installer, browse. Okay, it's on my Z drive, internal SSD, home, deck, downloads, downloads. Okay, so here it is. So I'm going to put it here 3.02 beta 10. Okay, next. Okay, and we're going to select this one install as dbghelp.dll. Okay, and then we also got to check this, enable support for AMD and Intel GPUs because we're on the Steam Deck and it's an AMD GPU. Okay, and then just next, install, see the files populating, that's good. Okay, then you get this error, that's fine. Okay, we don't need to read the readme. Finish, okay? Okay, so that's the DLSS enabler and Okay, let's go back to our downloads. So we downloaded the dd2.zip, right? Extract it. Okay, we want we only want this d input 8.dll. So uh, we've got to extract this file to our game folder. So just drag it over. Okay, so it's right here now. 
Okay, now you've got your files ready. Uh, you also want to... Okay, these ready. Uh, the game folder, yep. Now we want to run the game first with reframework without the mod. So just run the game first. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to our Steam library. Okay, you can actually remove this now. You don't really need it anymore. So remove non-Steam game from your library, the DLSS enabler setup. We don't need it. Go back to Dragon's Dogma 2. Click on the gear icon, properties. Okay, and make sure you add this command. Okay, wine DLL overrides equals D input 8. That's the re framework. And then also D BG help. That's the DLSS enabler, the DLL. So these two DLLs, we need to enable them. Okay. And then we're just going to run it first. So run the game with re framework. Okay. And you should see some new folders and files popping up once the game's ready to load. I'll move it over here so you can see properly. So the game's loading. Okay, so you see that? Okay. Okay, so this is reframework. All right. And I suggest you to uh, change the menu key so we can t toggle this on and off. Uh, and it's, by default, it's the insert key. Okay, I like to change it. You go to here, configuration, and we can change it to the home key. So it's 36, okay? Uh, if you don't have a keyboard connected, uh, don't worry. On your gaming mode for Dragon's Dogma, go to the controller and map your back buttons. Map one of them to the home key, one of them to the insert key. Okay, so two keys you need. Okay, now we can just quit this. I'm just going to quit it. Stop. Stop. Okay. Now, now what you need to do is uh, we're going to move our DLSS enabler mod files. So copy all this over to the game folder. Paste. Okay, I already have it, so I'm just going to overwrite. Okay, and then um, once that's done here, what you want to do, you've got a file called nvngx.dll. It's 185.5 kilobytes. This is from the mod files. We're just going to delete it. Okay, just delete this. We don't want this. We're going to replace it with this one, nvngx underscore dlss.dll. So right-click, copy it, and then paste it here. Paste one file, and we're just going to name it back to the file that it was before. So nvngx.dll. Okay, so that's done. That's done. Okay, and then uh, let's double check the config.ini because uh, if it's set to... Okay, so if you uh, have some issues and you can't boot up the game, that's probably because you've like enabled DLSS in the game and if the mod and everything is not ready, it won't happen. So if you go to config.ini here, upscaling algorithm, just set it to none. Don't like, If it's DLSS, set it to none. Upscaling quality, just set it to none or off. I think it's called off. Okay, so off. Off. And then here, DLSS off. Frame generation off. Okay, so make sure these are all off because the game won't be able to uh, launch properly. Okay, save. Okay. And then now, let's run the game. Let's test it out. Test it out again. Uh, we should be able to load the game and um, we should be able to toggle on frame generation now. Let's see. Okay. So here's reframework again. You don't really need it. Uh, once you've got it here, you can just toggle it off. So if I press the home button, it should go away. 
Oh, it's still set to 36. Now it should go away. Okay. Okay, so let's go to options. Graphics. Okay, you can see now we can toggle on DLSS frame generation and uh, upscaling. Okay, so if we do this, I think we're going to get like the UI will be gone. So let's try it out. So save changes. Okay, so see that? Like the UI is gone. The UI is gone. And now you press the insert key. Once the UI is gone, you press the insert key and you can see this is called OptiScaler. It's part of the mod. Okay, what you need to do is you need to here, direct X, uh, change it to FSR 2.2.1 and then click apply. Okay, and then here, RCAS settings, enable RCAS and also check motion adaptive sharpness. And then save, close. Okay. Did it crash? No, it didn't crash. That's fine. Now you can see the, the UI just popped back up. Now, now, that's how you make it to work. Okay. And yeah, that's it. I think that's it. Uh, quit. Yes. Yes. And let's go back to gaming mode. Let's go back to gaming mode and I'll test it out. Welcome back to my gaming mode. So like I was saying, if you don't have a keyboard and like you couldn't press the home key and the insert key that's needed for the uh, setup before, okay, go into gaming mode and select the game. So Dragon's Dogma 2 and click on the controller icon. Okay, uh, make sure on the Steam Deck controller, I've got a Bluetooth controller connect. Steam Deck controller, I've mapped the back grip buttons. So L4 is home key and R4 is the insert key. And once you've set this, uh, it works in gaming, uh, like in desktop mode as well. So yeah, you could have done that uh, without using a keyboard. Okay, so now let's, let's run the game. Let's run the game. So I, I just reinstalled the mod and let's test it out once more. So I'm loading the game. If you're enjoying the video, make sure you hit the thumbs up button. It really helps out the channel. We talk a lot about gaming handhelds, especially the Steam Deck, Lenovo Legion Go, Nintendo Switch. We talk a lot about mods, cheats, trainers, stuff like that. If that's your thing, make sure you subscribe. Okay, so reframe work. Okay. Don't need to see that anymore. So I'm, I'm just going to remove it. Yeah, I'm just going to boot into the game and then uh, check out the, the mod once again. Just make sure everything's right. Test it out. So yeah, if you like messed up and your game doesn't boot up, like I said, uh, the config.ini, that's important. Okay, so system, options, graphics. Okay, I'm just going to turn it off because it doesn't kick in. Okay, this is off and then back to options, graphics. Now let's turn it back on. Performance. Okay, yep, now, yeah, it works with the UI and everything. So yeah, that's how it's done, guys. Let me know if you have any issues. I'm pretty sure you're going to have a lot of issues. But uh, yeah, I'll try my best to help you out. Make sure you list out your steps uh, so I know which you know step you probably missed. Okay, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Later.